Welcome to a new video where I want to show you how you can move your files from a Mi 9T, an old Xiaomi device, to the new Redmi Note 10 Pro. So let's get started. By just simply showing you which application you need. So what you need is the application Mi Mover that I have installed here and this is a German version so it's called Datenverschieben. What you have to do is open this up here and say OK, yes and say I'm the sender for the data. I have to enter my super secret password that you don't see right now. And then I have to go to my other device and I have to take this device and do the same. Open up the Mi Mover app, agree to the conditions and say I'm the recipient. And now can QR code to install Mi Mover on the old device. Okay, I installed already. Connect the old to the old device and now select this hotspot on your old device to connect. So I have to connect on the other device the, to this hotspot. Uh, it should be there, as you can see here. I found the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So now we can start. So what I want to do now is check which or what applications and other settings I want to move over. So I can choose here pictures, messages, contacts and lists of call, caller IDs, caller lists, audio video files and system apps and uh, third party apps. These are the things that I want to send over to my Redmi Note 10, T, uh, 10 Pro. <laughs> About the T I can sit, click on send. Uh, and not all applications can be sent and all applications can be done. So I say OK. And now it starts sending and receiving. As you can see here, it will take for a quick while, I would say, for it to work out. So we wait a little bit and then we can yeah, have a look at what has been transferred over. So now the transfer is done and as you can see here my Mi 9T tells me all the stuff, all the items have been transferred. I can click on done and then I'm done and I go to my um, Redmi Note 10 Pro. <laughs> so now I've told you how it's called. Uh, rate our app correctly. Uh, rate our app. Uh, I don't want to rate the app. So as you can see here it says message missing. The other phone didn't. Can we click on this? We cannot. Let's click on done and let's see if I go back here out of here what has been done. So we can see the items are a bit different. The wallpaper is still the same. We have the dark theme applied. Free games have been added. We can see, oh, it added really some games and applications from the other phone. We can check with the other phone, uh, just as a comparison here. How does it look like on the main screen? You can see, yeah, I think that the bottom bar is not correct. And I think the settings here are so far okay. And the next screen calendar is missing. But the rest it's set up correct as far as I can see. So there are some applications missing like Thermux for example. You cannot get it because it is from Android and not from the Google Play Store. The same goes for some games that are missing apparently. And the rest it tried its best to sort it out somehow. Yeah, I can see some applications missing, some being differently aligned. Yeah, because I have some other applications here installed as well. Well, in general, I think it is working fine. The wallpaper did not come over. Um, what about the other settings here? Are the icons the same? The quick toggles? I think they are the same. So it worked pretty nicely here. I have to say the only thing that's missing is like the phone is gone. 
the browser is still there, the camera is there, but the SMS app is gone and the YouTube app that I had here is gone as well. So this is something I have to fix, but in general I think it worked pretty nicely. And when I just go into my photos here and gallery here, do we have the same pictures? I think we have different pictures here. So it did not take over all of the photos, but some, you can see, it found new photos as well. So I can go in here and uh, these are wallpapers, I think, that I downloaded on this device. But it did not, did it transfer the photos over, like those photos here? Yeah, it transferred them over as well. This worked pretty nicely. Yeah, pretty cool. So this was working out as well. In terms of music, where do I have the music application here, there? So it should be there as well. Let's open it up. Yeah, I think it's still indexing stuff here on the right. But you can see, yes, I think it is. it got the stuff. So it has various different songs here. Yeah, it has this album as well. And as you can see here, yes, it's the same. So after indexing, we have the same music copied over as well. Pretty nicely done. And yeah, well, I'm surprised that it worked so good. The only thing that did not work is really the wallpaper. I would like to have the wallpaper as well set. And uh, yeah, some applications did not. This is like a bit concerning that the phone app is gone. Where's the phone app? Can I search for the phone app? Oh, if I swipe from the bottom, something else opens up. Did not want to open up the Mi browser. So I have to search for the phone app and put it to its right place. There we have the phone app. Maybe because it's a different icon, maybe it's a different phone app as well. And now I have to search for the SMS app, the messaging app, and do it as well. But yeah, in general it works out and you get a clue on how this works. With the Mi Mover you can move and transfer from an older device to a newer device and it works pretty nicely. And if you have some questions you can write them down in the comment section, down in the comment section. And otherwise uh, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.